Hi guys, it's Aferia. Um, today's video is going to be about how to know if a boy likes you. If you're interested, stay tuned. I'll write to you, sign number one. You will catch this guy or your crush staring at you frequently. So if you're in class, let's say, and you look towards him, he'll either he'll either like look away very quickly or he'll try to hold your gaze, depending on what kind of guy he is. Um, which means, you know, what kind of personality he possesses. And so, um, one foolproof m method to check whether or not he is actually staring at you is to look very quickly at an object such as a clock or a picture um, when you believe that he might be staring at you. And if he, if he looks at it, when you look at it, then you know for sure that he's looking at you because when um, a person looks at another person, we're instantaneously... Um, you know, drawn to what that person is seeing. And so, yeah. When a guy makes a joke, he's going to instantly um, look at you and try to gauge your reaction. Um, studies across the board prove that girls like guys who make them laugh. And so, um, of course, guys know this subconsciously. And so, um, when a guy likes you and he tells a joke or he says something funny, he'll almost always look at you to see um, whether or not you think it's funny, whether you think, you know, he's being stupid or not. And so, um, this it, this is a pretty easy signal to catch up on, um, because all you have to do is look at him, and if his case flickers to you. So I'm going to combine the fourth, or um, let's see, I'm going to combine the fourth and the fifth signs together because they relate to each other. Um, it's about when a guy comes up to you and talks to you, and um, guys will sometimes do this, you know, just to be friendly, but um depending on the top of, topic of conversation, of course, and how frequently they come up to you and talk to you. So if a guy frequently comes up to you and converses with you and asks very personal questions, you know, what's your favorite band, you know, um, <laughs> what are your hobbies consist of, etc., you know more than likely that he, um, he wants to get to know you better, which shows that he likes you or has a crush on you. All right, number six, he asks you for your number. And this seems like a very blatant sign. Hi, buddy, you want to come up? This seems like a very blatant sign. Um, however, a lot of girls always doubt that the guy likes them when they ask, um, when he asks her for um, her number. And I can guarantee you that if a guy asks you for his number, for <laughs> if a guy asks you for your number, he is... He's not just doing it to be friendly or whatever. He's showing curiosity towards you, which could, um, which could reflect either his um, infatuation towards you or possibly his future infatuation towards you. And so um, this is a very good sign if he asks you for your number, of course. Number seven. This um, is body language, of course. Um, Ed... I think that I'll talk more about number two, um, as well in this little snippet. So, uh, basically, body language, um, it's the subconscious, um, it's a subconscious way for people to reflect their feelings through their body, and so, um, a lot of the times when a guy likes you, you'll see that he'll preen himself, um, just like girls do, but he'll pull up his socks, he'll adjust his tie if you're in a workplace, you know, if you're in school, he'll... Maybe brush some imaginary dust off his shoulder or whatever. He'll just, he might do something with his hair, or, you know, he'll try to pray for you. Um, he can show you the crotch display, which means that he sits with his legs open. Let's see if I can do So hopefully you guys can see this, but he'll sit like this or he'll sit like this. Um, it, it's subconsciously for guys. They subconsciously show, try to show their best part, um, their male parts, and so... Um, and then, like I stated in the, um, sign, too, is that they'll rarely, rarely turn their back towards you. Um, you know, they'll position their shoulders to you. Um, they'll go like this to try to appear, make their biceps appear bigger. Um, so, yeah. Okay.
Okay, number eight. So, my cousin and I, when we were coming up with this list, we actually did not agree on this. Um, what he originally said is that guys will not join in on a joke at your expense. Um, I, however, have observed something entirely different, and as long as a guy is getting your inten attention, um, he's going to try to go for it, even if it is a joke at your expense. Um, like my cousin said, he said this is kind of the douche versus, versus non-douche. Um, so, you know, it, it really depends on the guy's personality with this, and, um, you will have guys that will be like, whoa, bro, that's, like, not cool, like, she's, t you know, and defend you, or you'll have guys that like you, and they'll, they'll join in, and they'll make fun of you, and, you know, they'll go back to pre-K, and with all their liking tactics, so, okay. Number nine, um, this is a really good one, um, you'll notice his appearance gets better, and what I mean by that is that he'll start wearing cologne more frequently frequently he'll um he'll get uh nicer clothing and he'll start putting an effort into his appearance um he'll start gelling up his hair whatever um and so they do that of course because they want you to notice him so number 10 the last one um this one is pretty darn obvious but it's he asks you to hang with him and um you know, if if a guy asks you to hang with him, more than likely he likes you, especially if he asks you more than one time. Um, I know that this might spark a lot of controversy, but I have never seen a relationship between a girl and a boy, um, a close relationship, where either the boy like doesn't like the girl or the girl doesn't like the boy. It, it's never just a platonic relationship. Never. If you if um two if a girl and boy are close enough and you guys text each other all the time and hang out all the time, one of you likes each other, or maybe both of you like each other. So that's just something to keep in mind. Um, so I hope that you enjoyed this video.